A new report suggests that Kevin Dunn is expected to remain with WWE for now. Tony Khan says AEW is not moving to two night pay-per-views. And Ric Flair says he passed out twice during his last match. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's Denise Salcedo, and you're watching the latest. We're going to go ahead and kick things off with a recent story regarding Kevin Dunn and his future with WWE. Take a look. Even with a creative regime change, Kevin Dunn is expected to remain with WWE for now. Fightful reported the news on Tuesday. With Vince McMahon no longer in charge of creative or with WWE at all, there was a belief and assumption by some that the longtime WWE executive producer might also be ending his near 40-year run. The Fightful Select report read, We've also been told that WWE doesn't believe they have anyone currently that could replace Dunn as the likeliest candidate was let go during a prior round of layoffs, and a return isn't likely based on how the exit went down. Kevin Dunn is WWE's executive producer and chief of global television distribution, and has also been a member of WWE's board of directors since 2008. He was hired by McMahon in 1984 and worked his way up the corporate ladder. Despite the promotions, Dunn has remained in the line producer role for all of live WWE TV shows since 1988. Tony Khan says AEW will not be moving to two-day pay-per-views for the long-term foreseeable future. Dustin Rhodes mentioned during a panel discussion recently that he had heard AEW would potentially be moving to multi-day events down the pike. Tony Khan appeared on Busted Open Radio on Wednesday and refuted these claims. He said, quote, I was like, why would Dustin say that? And I love Dustin so much, but I was surprised that he said it because it's not something we've really internally seriously discussed. That being said, even if I was, I'm not, I probably wouldn't want somebody to break that news in a panel. But I can honestly say that's not what we're doing anyway but I was surprised by that. For at least for the long-term foreseeable future, I still see all the pay-per-views being the great one-day events we've been doing. Ric Flair says he passed out twice due to dehydration during his last match. Flair opened up about his experience on the pay-per-view during his most recent edition of To Be The Man podcast. He said, quote, I don't think people realize that I passed out twice. What happened was my regimentation for the training was so strict that I kept my weight on. I wanted my perfect weight to be like 220 pounds going in. So the last day and a half, aside from all the work that we had planned for me to do, I didn't hydrate because I had it in my mind that I had to weigh 219 pounds. So anyway, I went into the ring at about 217. What happened during the body of the match, I just became dehydrated. He continued on by saying, While I was standing on the apron, I looked at Jay, which started the whole wheel of motion. I said, man, I think I'm getting sick because I was getting lightheaded. Nothing to do with my heart, nothing to do with my intestines, just getting lightheaded. He would then continue to talk about a moment in the match where he was supposed to be superplexed from the turnbuckle. Flair said it was Jared's decision to not go through with the move. Ric Flair said he passed out for a second time during the match after Jarrett went to hit him with a guitar. Jarrett would miss and hit lethal, but Flair says he passed out again shortly after the spot, saying, quote, I swear to God, twice during the match, I went completely black. My hands started trembling, but it was all dehydration. I had two doctors in there right away with me and everything. The Undertaker came running in and said, I had six beers there. He took them out of my hands and said, you're drinking two Gatorades first. I said, Gatorade? So I drank two and that was all that it was. I underestimated the importance of keeping hydrated, which is really big, especially when I lost that much weight and trained that hard. Ric Flair also revealed that he was texted by AEW's Tony Khan after the event. I got the nicest text from Tony Khan in the world. He congratulated me on everything, explaining why he wasn't there. My relationship with Tony Khan is great. I think my relationship with WWE is great. I got texts from everybody in the world that means anything to me and probably people you'd be shocked to hear from. Randy Orton sent me something. I started crying that nice. I'm the luckiest son of a bitch alive to have all of this going on. I'm 73, guys. Most people thought I'd be dead. Angelo Mosco told me when I was 24, if I lived to be 30, I'd be overstaying my welcome. So 43 years later, I'm just so thankful for the opportunity. Well, there you go. That was today's quick news roundup. I will be back later tonight for Speak Now Pro Wrestling covering AEW Dynamite. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Latest.
Before you go, don't forget to click that subscribe button and check out some of our additional content.